Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today with another beer review. For this one we are going to head to Ferry Hill, which is just a few miles to the south of me here in Durham. And this is a little brewery who, um, it's basically a little brew pub actually, and I need to go and check it out sometime before I have to head back to Sweden. But for this one we're going to do my first ever review from the Yard of Ale Brew Company, and this beer is called the Hercules Red. I actually bought this beer, and um, they had the, a bottle of it behind the bar in the Three Horseshoes, which I always drive back, uh, drive past on my way back from school and I just saw it and thought you know I've never heard of this brewery I'll need to have a go at it but this one comes in at 4.1% and apparently it's a red ale brewed with German Hercules which is a hop that I really quite enjoy actually so definitely looking forward to this one and as always I hope you guys enjoy my take on this beer so anyway as is usual with my reviews then I'll tell you a little bit about the brewery if you want to get straight to the tasting of course just fast forward all the usual links are in the description below that's the brewery website the link to my other reviews that hopefully I can do in the future from Yard Vale Brewing Company. Very first time I'm trying one of their beers actually. There's all the usual social media. If you want to see more beer reviews, do please consider subscribing to the channel. The whole channel of course has a geography based tagging system so you can go into the homepage and search for beer based on country, city, state, county, prefecture, whatever it is you're interested in. Do check out the playlist of beers from different countries. There is one there for all the English beers that I've reviewed for you. That's constantly being added to and as always please do get in touch and let me know some of the other beers and breweries that you guys would like to see me review. It's always great to hear from you guys that are watching the videos and the support that you show the channel is hugely appreciated. So anyway, just a little short bit about the Yard of Ale Brewery then. So as I mentioned to you, the Yard of Ale Brewery are based in the Surtees Arms in Ferry Hill, which is I think about seven or eight miles to the south of Durham. I always used to drive past it on the way to my school in Darlington that I was at, but the pub and brewery are owned by Alan and Susan Hogg, who have owned the company since 2007, and they've been brewing beers there since 2008. Since then, of course, they've hosted a number of different beer festivals, a few little, I think they're just looking a little affair if you like, they seem to be a lot of Halloween beer fest on the company's Facebook page, and um, but they've won a number of different camera festival awards at different camera festivals as well. And they started bottling their beers back in 2013, and these are sold just around the local area. Like I said, I picked up this beer from the the Three Horseshoes, which I always drive past on my way to Middlesbrough, and I quite I quite often go in there for a bit of dinner on the way back sometimes. But I saw this beer and I thought I had to try it. But the brewery, of course, is named after these a. Uh, yard ale glasses that you get these kind of the really long ones with the little ball at the bottom of them eh, for drinking the yard of ale i'm not sure how many pints is in one of those but i think the challenge is always to chug one of those um but yeah the brewery is named after that they seem to be more of a kind of real ale traditional real ale brewery so it is kind of interesting to see that they have this beer that uses some german hops and things in it of course so we'll see how we get on with this one it's always cool to introduce you to little breweries like this and i hope you enjoy it so yeah let's get stuck into this beer then so i'll just let you have a little look at the artwork on this one there you can see obviously the strong man there as a reference to Hercules and um, the malt base in this one it tells you on the front here this is a dark red ale brewed with chocolate and Munich malts hopped with German Hercules and it just says this beer is unfined unfiltered and bottled conditioned and contains natural sediment store upright and keep it cool and um, yeah best before July of 2018 they do have a Twitter account Incidentally, if uh, you uh, if you can do that, I think I said on Facebook I got a lot of their things, but I had a little flick through their Twitter to see what they're up. That was where I got most of the information uh, on this brewery, of course. But it said, yeah, based at the Surtees Arms in Ferry Hill, County Durham. So yeah, nice little local brewery. Uh, I'll get it out. And the last thing, plain blue bottle cap on this one, by the way. So let's get it out. There you can see a nice smoky opening, and let's get it into the glass then. As I said, 4.1% red ale, German hops, Hercules hops. Hercules is almost kind of like an amped up version of the, the likes of the Hallertown and the Tetnanger. It's got a little bit more alpha acidity to it. I think it's up at like, I think it's maybe like 8 or 9% acidity that I that the Hercules has compares to like the 6 or 7 or uh, maybe 5 actually that you'll get from the Haller Tower Tetnanger hops but yeah as you can see that's poured a nice I'd say it's quite a dark coppery colour there is a little bit of redness to it but to me that's more of a kind of copper coloured beer there's a solid finger ahead or probably about a half finger ahead I would say uh, and it's a kind of almost fawny beige colour very slightly um, it's not quite creamy, I'd say it's more of a sort of fawn colour that, more than anything else. But yeah, it looks kind of pretty much as you would expect from a traditional English radio. One or two big bubbles sticking towards the side of the glass and a few little ones just heading up towards the bottom of that head there. But you know, overall, it looks pretty nice. So let's take a closer look at the aroma then and just see how we get on. Oh yeah. There is a little bit of that kind of chocolatey note in there. You can definitely pick up that. There's a little bit of a 
a brown sugary element as well, but really kind of underpinning this beer. It's almost like a kind of brown brady quality that it has. There's definitely that kind of almost dusty and um, brady sort of grainy kind of thing going on. That's really what I'm getting in this beer. It's not quite rye or anything like that. Sometimes red ales can have a bit of red rye in them or something. But yeah, it's got a kind of chocolate, that chocolatey element's definitely there. There is a little bit of a, a brown sugary note, quite a toasted brown sugary note, but it definitely has a good kind of bready element to it, that dusty, uh, flowery kind of brown bready note, actually. That's really what the aroma reminds me of in this one. You can smell a little bit of the hops as well. There's a wee touch of earthiness in there. It's quite a sweet earthiness. I've always found the English hops, like the Fuggles and the, the Kent Goldings and things like that, they always give you this quite um, dark, herbal earthiness. But the German hops, they give you this bit, just a bit of a lighter earthiness. And you can smell some of the nice um, grassy character. Really, the, the German noble hop qualities. Once you've tried a lot of German beers, of course, I used to live in Germany. And uh, we had, you know, there was a lot of Hellas beers and dunkels and things like that, you really, after a while, you really get used to picking up these kind of noble hop aromas from the beer. And you can definitely pick that up in this one. It's got that nice little bit of floral quality to it and a, nice, and a sort of lighter grassy note. The grassiness in the German hops is very nice and that really jumps out of this beer. There's maybe a wee touch of an almost like little, slightly candied red fruit, but that's very, very minimal, I will say that. It's just a little bit like those, ha if you smell like a bag of Haribo when you open it up, it's got just a little touch of that smell to it. Just a little bit of a sort of candied fruit kind of thing. But yeah, it smells really nice. Uh, so let's see how we get on with this one. So this one is the Hercules Red from the Yard of Ale Brew Company in Ferry Hill, just to the south of Durham. Let's get stuck in. Slanger, Skull, Prost. Yeah, I mean... That's, a, that's, you know, in terms of a, the thing you have to remember with this, a lot of the beers that I'll rate on this channel and, and tell you about are the big kind of bold craft beers. This one, straight away you can see it is, this beer is more geared towards the kind of real ale drinker, if you like, rather than the craft beer drinker. There's a, there's a distinct difference between them. But in terms of a real ale, um, I have to admit, I do quite like this one. You, it, it, I can see why this beer would be, re, would be quite highly rated amongst uh, the kind of real ale drinkers. It's definitely quite a nice one. But yeah, the malt base on this is what's kind of standing out to me. You can feel that nice kind of bready base that it has. I mean, it does have, there is a little bit of a kind of toasted grainy element. You can feel there is a little bit of bitterness starts to come out of the malt base, but then as it mellows out, you start to get a little bit more of the chocolate. I think they said there was uh, Munich malts in there as well, which, you know, it does make sense. The Munich malts give you this really, um, they give you this really smooth, bready quality to it. But the black malts that are in there, they're giving it this kind of, you can, that you can really feel that roasted quality just pushing its way out of the beer. But then as it mellows out, if you sit and watch the middle of your tongue, that's where the kind of chocolatey flavour is in this beer. But yeah, you know, they've done a nice job with that one, actually. I'm not sure if how you would kind of classify the style of this beer, because, you know, obviously it's using a lot of German ingredients. The red, a red ale like that, it's not all that common a style to find in Germany, to be honest with you. I have come across a couple of red ales, like in Heidelberg, uh, the Kultebrauer had a really beautiful red ale at one point. They were using New Zealand hops and things in that. Um, but the red ale isn't a style that you come across too much in Germany. It's usually uh, Kulsch's, Pils, Helles, uh, Box, uh, and you know things like that. They've always got their own local styles. But the red ale, as I say, isn't one that you kind of come across. So it's really interesting. They've taken a style that, from what I can remember, is distinctively more English, and they've just you, you, they've used German ingredients in it, and it works. It actually works really well with this one. I have to say that the malt base in this beer is really nice. But then I'm a bit biased in that because I do love these uh, the Munich malt. So do take that with a pinch of salt. So as I say, I'm not sure whether whether you can class this as a traditional English red ale or something like that, but it's certainly a nice beer. For me, the style doesn't matter too much. 
you can argue about that all day. The main point is that is that you know is it a nice beer? And for me, it is. They've done a good job with this one. So thumbs up to Yardvale Brew Company for that. As I say, I can see why real ale drinkers would really quite like this one. So the malt base, as I say, it's got that nice kind of brown bready quality to it. You can feel the Munich malts, just that smoothness that they have really is in there and then on top of that you get the roasty grainy quality but as the flavour mellows out you start to get a little bit more of the kind of chocolatey note to it. It's a really interesting red beer this one. In the back corners of the palate that's where you get some of that nice very smooth earthiness actually, that very smooth and almost slightly sweet earthiness that you get from the noble hops. As you come further forward along the sides of the palate you can feel the earthiness just spreads a little bit forward but then you start to move in to a more slightly spicy floral note and then round the very front curve of the tongue it's just a little bit lighter and grassy you can feel just a little element of the floral qualities of the beer around there as well but then just behind the front curve of the palate that's where you get those little that little oily bubble where the fruity elements start to come out yeah the fruity element to this one it's just a very kind of light touch of a sort of um ready fruit you know if you think of these um, little heart shaped sweets that you get in the the Haribo Star Mix it's probably you know it's probably a little bit of that that's coming out of this beer that's what it really reminds me of that's the kind of descriptive that comes to mind but as i say it's a really it's a nice beer this one i certainly wouldn't hesitate to drink this again um as i've always said I'm not a great fan of cast conditioning. I'm not a great fan because I I got into beer when I was in Germany. I like the way that this is conditioned with a little bit more carbonation to it and just having the, the kind of crispness. I'm, I've never been a great fan of um, the cast conditioning where the beer is warm and just has no carbonation. I've never been a great fan of that. For me, this beer works really well in the bottle. I would be interested to try it on the cast conditioning and just have a taste and see what it's like. But as it is in the bottle, I think this beer is really nice. And with the fact that it's got German ingredients in it as well, I have to admit, I reckon if I was to try this on cask, I probably would still prefer the bottle condition. But that's just me. Um, and again, that's something that camera drink, the folks that like to drink the real ale, they do prefer the beer slightly warmer it's just what everyone is used to but for me in a bottle conditioned beer that's a pretty nice one in terms of a real ale as well it's a pretty nice one i think that's a good way to kind of sum this beer up so i th I'm, as i say stylistically i'm not sure whether you can call this an english radio because it's german ingredients that are in this one it's a style if you think of it as a german beer it's a more unusual thing that you'd come across. You wouldn't come across this in Germany all that often from what I gather. But the main point is that it's a nice beer and uh, I certainly wouldn't hesitate to drink it again. So in terms of the mouthfeel then, um, I would say mid-bodied carbonation does have a little bit of crispness to it. It's quite a moderate carbonation. It's not overly carbonated. A uh, little bit of an oily mouthfeel to it. Um, hoppiness. Uh, it's not going to blow your head off in terms of IBUs, it's just got a nice little bit of hoppiness. The malt base, there's a wee touch of sweetness to it, but I think the black malts do push their, do kind of, um, push their weight in this one a little bit. So you've got a little bit of bitterness from the malt base and a little bit from the, the hoppy qualities as well. But there's a nice sort of smoothness to it and then a little bit of a kind of red fruity note to the beer as well. But that's really quite minimal, it's mainly the hops and the malts that are dominating in this one. But overall... It's a nice beer, and as I say, I certainly wouldn't hesitate to drink it again. I will need to take a wee trip down and have some food and try one or two other beers in the pub at some point, because it's only a few miles away. But yeah, I'm glad that I got to review one of their beers for you while I was here, and I hope you guys have enjoyed my take on this one. So yeah, once again, until the next time, thank you for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, all the usual YouTube stuff. Uh, check out my social media. Let me know your own thoughts on this beer in the comment section below. Let me know what your favourite beers are from these guys as well. Pardon me, and hopefully I can go down and get a couple more bottles to review for you at some point fairly soon. But this one was pretty nice, and I'm glad that I got to try it. So this was the Hercules Red at 4.1%, a red ale brewed with a lot of nice German ingredients, and they did a good job with it. So until the next time, it's just now, and we'll catch you guys very soon. Cheers.